Okay, so I was asked to check out this operating system. Uh, this is Apple Pie OS, and uh, if I click on the comment, so Raspberry Pi Projects and More sent this uh, comment to me on one of my videos. So Apple Pie OS is out, I fixed some bugs, username Ubuntu, password Apple Pie OS, and there's a Google Drive link, I'll put that in the description if you want to download it. Uh, if you check out Raspberry Pi Projects and More, uh, they do actually do uh, quite a lot of videos uh, on Raspberry Pis like me, um, and uh, yeah, it's a good channel. Uh, I also, the reason I know Raspberry Pi Projects and More is that he answers a lot of questions on my videos now. As I've had more subscribers and I get loads and loads of emails and questions, it's nice to turn up to a comment which needs an answer and, uh, and I don't have to do it, I just put a like or a, or a heart on the comment because it's already been answered and that's happened quite a lot. So I felt obliged to, uh, to have a look at his operating system and uh, I'm not disappointed. It's uh, got a really nice dock, really nice clean feel to it. Uh, so things like uh, the settings is all nice and neat, as Ubuntu is uh, very good for this. So it's a good it's a good starting point for an operating system like this. Uh, and uh, I haven't really looked at theming things, but obviously loads of people do it, uh, and so it's probably not my thing to do. But I'm happy to uh, have a look at what people have done to various different things. Uh, so I really like to see Belena Etcher uh, because it's great at writing images and I don't think Raspberry Pi Imager works properly in Ubuntu. It probably can be adapted but uh, if you haven't got Raspberry Pi Imager, Belena Etcher is just as good if not better in some ways. Uh, so Chromium is on there, Firefox is on there. I find Firefox a bit snappier. Sometimes in uh, Ubuntu distros you get better performance for Chromium for certain things and I've shown that in some of my other videos. So there's some LibreOffice programs here, uh, Rhythmbox for audio, this um, Snap Store which is a good store for apps, which I think comes with Ubuntu Budgie anyway. Oh, I had this before where it comes up and disappears. Uh, it does, I did have it working before, but it's, as you see, it comes up and it starts to load the catalogue and it disappears. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, so applications, what does that come up with? Okay, so applications isn't working for me either. Click on the top here. Uh, this is only, a, I think it's version 1.2 build. Uh, so accessories, let's just have a quick look through it. I think most of the things are what, what come in it already. Uh, so this is nice to see. I use Raspberry Pi Imager to clear off a memory card. If I've got a memory card that's either troublesome or I just want to clear it off to make it an ordinary uh, FAT32 card, that's what I'll use. But you can also use this because this formats disk, creates disks. Uh, you can uh, make a backup of a disk on this, all sorts of things. So that's a nice thing to have on there as well as Belena Etcher. So games wise, I see Dolphin Emulator is in there. I haven't tried it yet, um, but uh, there's that version of Revolt. Uh, which I think probably comes through PyKiss because I saw PyKiss is installed in here. The only thing about PyKiss is it's not optimized for Ubuntu, so I don't know if, if everything will work uh, so, uh, that you install with PyKiss. I've certainly tried things before that didn't work with PyKiss through Ubuntu, but work perfectly fine with Twister OS and Raspberry Pi OS uh, because that's, that's what that's made for, unless something's changed. I haven't checked very recently. So... And the video, so Cody's in there. There you go, there's, so there's PyKiss in there. So I think it loads up all right, uh, but I just think that certain things do and don't work. I'm pretty sure Mario 64 worked. Uh, so on, on the games, is it still in there? This keeps changing. I need to keep checking up with PyKiss to see what new things have been added, but that Super Mario 64 is excellent. And I'm sure I used that with the Ubuntu Mate version. So uh, Ubuntu is great at supporting printers. Bluetooth tensor piece are really well supported. As I say, this is the desktopify version, the Wimpy's version, which uh, is just really good for performance, for web performance, uh, and, uh, and very optimized for the Pi. So let's just have a look at the file system and see how that works, see if it recognizes my NAS drive. Yeah, that's very nice and clean. So if I get a network, my cloud. I can hear it spinning up in the distance. Connect. Yeah, so that, that works perfectly fine. 
So yeah, very good work. Uh, I do like the look of it. I see on his channel, uh, he's also got Ubuntu XP on Pi. Now obviously, um, Salvador did this uh, on Pi Labs, and uh, a lot of people really like the XP theme. Uh, but it's just, you know, people are just playing around with these things and, and having a look and seeing what themes they can do. Uh, it's really nice like this to see, uh, I mean, it's obviously slightly based on uh, Apple's Mac OS, but it's nice to see something uh, a little bit different. Yeah, that looks pretty decent as well. The best I've seen is Twister OS now um, as, as an overall operating system for uh, how it looks because it's kind of based on Windows, but it's but it's not there's he, uh, Salvador keeps changing it and uh, and it's a it's what I've got on my SSD It's my main operating system, but I do really like uh, the look of this and the simplicity and Ubuntu is very stable and runs really well on the Pi. So yeah, great work Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe